Dave Hughes. It is absolutely great to be here, I won't deny that. A little bit of trouble getting here though, actually. Look, I have a long day, so I thought I'd get a, uh, get a Red Bull at a 7-Eleven on the way to fire myself up. Went to the 7-Eleven down here in Burke Street. I only had a $50 note. So I gave the guy the pineapple. He looked at me and says, you got any change? I said, no. Then he looked at me like I had shot his grandmother. <laughs> I said, mate, sorry, didn't bring me cash register with me today. Can we use yours this time? <laughs> God's sake. Honestly, people are rude. I ran out of petrol the other day, or I ran out, it was in, just down the St Kilda Road, I ran out of petrol, middle of the day, set of traffic lights, put me hazards on, did the right thing, got me hazard lights on, guy behind me starts honking me, and he wouldn't stop. Eventually I stuck my head out of the window, I said, mate, got the hazards on, a bit of, in a bit of trouble, not trying to turn left and right at the same friggin' time. <laughs> not trying to cut me car in half, you dickhead. <laughs> Honestly, the people, I mean, I, probably my problems aren't the worst of anyone's. A lot of people have been eaten by sharks recently, which is not good, I know that, but it's big news every time it happens, isn't it? That's massive news, is it? That's what sharks do. <laughs> have you seen the teeth on those? Yes. They eat people. This would be news if one day at St Kilda Beach, a penguin goes crazy and mauls an Irish back back at a death. <laughs> and dies of alcoholic poisoning. <laughs> That would be news. One of the sharks ate someone at Bondi Beach recently. Where were Bondi Rescue when you need them? <laughs> On an ad break, were they? <laughs> Even the bloody handsome Bondi vet could have got involved, couldn't he? With his handsomeness. That guy, he gives me the shits. <laughs> Honestly, and what pets do Bondi people have? They all live in flats, the yuppies. What problems will they have? I'd love to say, I'd love to see Broad Meadows vet. Yeah. <laughs> With Trevor the Pitbull's addicted to smack. <laughs> that would be a show I'd watch. <laughs> Come dogs. I got a dog recently because I got married a couple of years ago and you got to get a dog. Getting married was great. I love getting, I was, it's great, don't get me wrong. It's good to get married, guys. If you've been going out with your girlfriend for a few years, you should get married, all right? They expect it and do it, all right? It makes them happy. The problem with when you're going out with a girl for a few years, every time you go on a holiday, they're expecting you to ask them to marry them. And the pressure's on. Me and my wife went, oh, my girlfriend at the time, we went to um, Hamilton Island a few years ago, right? And then we took a helicopter from Hamilton Island to this place called Whitehaven Beach. I had no intention of asking her to marry me. We're up in the air in this helicopter over the beach. There's a massive sign on the sand that says, Will you marry me? I did not put that there. <laughs> She hadn't seen it, and I said, Tony, don't look down! There's a dolphin being raped by a seal! <laughs> but married life is, oh, it is great, with people we're talking about, I love it, don't get me wrong, we have a great time. We're you know, in the house, we set the house up beautiful. We had to get the couches she wanted, she wanted couches that didn't have arms. Yep, we paid three grand for two benches. <laughs> She said, our new lounge room's not big enough for arms. I said, the couches aren't going to do the friggin' Mexican wave. <laughs> Honestly, and then we bought them, and then we went to a shop for a, for a dining table, and she, it was a, a shop for a furniture made of distressed wood. I didn't even know wood had feelings. <laughs> We're looking at a dining table made of distressed wood, and the woman selling it uh, with a really posh, she's saying, oh, yeah, you've got to be careful when you put cups on it, because they can fall over. I'm saying, you want to pay two grand for a friggin' table that doesn't work? We've already got amputee couches, now you want to buy a mental table? What, are we running a home for disabled furniture, are we? <laughs> now, new house, we had to get rid of the tree in the front yard. She wanted to get rid of it. I mean, fair enough, too. It was block It wasn't a native, and it was blocking the light from the bloody front of the house. And she, we got, we, I, I, but we, I was out the front looking at this tree and the guy who lives next door walked past and it sort of blocks his sort of front yard. So I thought I'd better ask him about it. So I said, mate, we're thinking about getting rid of this tree. And he said, oh, I'd be devastated if you did that. I thought, God, it's not the Amazon rainforest. But I went back to my wife and said, Sonny, I don't think we can get rid of the tree. The guy next door doesn't want us to. She said, well, don't tell him. I said, oh, I think he's going to notice. She said, well, act dumb. So we got rid of the tree. The next time I saw him, he said, what happened to the tree? I said, what tree? <laughs> he said, the one in the front yard. I said, I don't speak of the English. <laughs> Thank you.
Have a great night. Thanks, guys. Good night.